Breathe with me. Breathe in. And breathe out. You are safe. You are whole. You are healed. You can use the sound of my voice right now to be reassured. You can allow yourself to release the tension that you may find in your jaw. You can trust and you can release any tension that you might feel in the muscles in your face. Breathing in and breathing out. You may place your attention on the breath. And in doing so, you leave the storyline of you behind. Yes. We focus our mind, we focus our attention on the breath. It seems to move. We feel what the breath is like in our body, how the air feels moving in and out through our nostrils, what it feels like as our chest rises and falls. And this is a good step in releasing. This is a good step in forgiving those parts of us that seem to be so out of control sometimes. Those parts of you that are desperate, those parts of you that are craving, those parts of you that are searching, that are longing, those are not the deepest parts of you, are they? No. Who is it that observes the breath? Now we're getting closer. Who is it that observes those parts of your being who are clinging and pushing away, attaching and running and fearing? Who is it that observes? Now we're getting deeper. Connecting to the part of you that is unchanging. Consciousness settling now like a stone in a stream all the way to the bottom. The waters rushing overhead. The weight of the stone bringing us down to the unchanging, the solid, that which truly is. That part of us that has been here all of our lives, witnessing, 
witnessing all of these thoughts, all of these emotions, witnessing this body as it is born, this body as it grows. Witnessing that which passes away. Witnessing that which is temporal. And now we know these words as merely pointers to that presence. And this tone We know this gentle nature as one who suggests that there is something deeper, there is something more, there is gentleness, there is nurturing, there is kindness. There is wholeness. And it is manifest in us as we choose. As we choose this deeper awareness. As we understand that we are not the rushing waters that are constantly moving, constantly changing. No, we are something more akin to the stone which is settled at the bottom of the stream. Unchanging, unmoving. We are this security. We are this safety. And this is the true nature of reality. Here we are. There is no fear. There is no judgment. We are not capable of judgment. You've done nothing wrong. And you can't do this wrong. You can just breathe. You see how spacious that is? You feel it all opening up, all the possibilities. There's a place where Our smaller selves encounter the bigger self. Like a, a little sister and a big sister, or like an older cousin, that admiration, that love, that affection, sense of security. Thank you. Thank you for meeting me here. Here we are. One mind. There is no you. There is no me. 
all that dissolves now as we realize that we are safe we are home all of our thoughts of separateness all of our thoughts of alienation isolation none of those are real That's what caused the contractions in the first place. That's what causes all the stress. None of that is nearly as solid as we think it is. It passes away. as we choose to forgive, as we choose to see that what I see on the outside of me is really on the inside of me and I can forgive all of it. Forgiveness is like a hug. Forgiveness is the doing of the impossible because it is that one that is deep within us. It is that one love within us that does the forgiving. If you've been trying to forgive with the more external parts of yourself, if you've been trying to forgive with your ego, if you've been wondering why forgiveness seems so difficult and so impossible and so hard, it's because you've been trying to forgive with parts of yourself that are incapable of forgiving. You've been trying to forgive with those parts of yourself that aren't real. Maybe we've been trying to forgive with our false selves. And that's why we sink. That's why we allow our consciousness to, to move to a deeper place. We find ourselves as the one who forgives. We find ourselves as love. We find ourselves as the one who takes into account no wrong. And we understand that those grievances weren't even real. They never happened because nothing that is love because nothing that is not love really exists. Can you see that? If it's not love, it never happened. And that's how we forgive. If we think it's real, we can't forgive it. Because who thinks it's real? those false self parts of ourselves that don't know love, those false parts of ourselves that want to hold on to the grievances. And that's okay. We can embody that for as long as we want. There's no punishment except the punishment we make for ourselves as we continue to blame those others on the outside. And this is where we find ourselves, as the one who forgives everyone and everything. This is the place of power. This is the place of release. 
This is why the meditation comes to forgiveness. It's because in forgiveness is true power. In forgiveness is true strength. Forgiveness is the light. Forgiveness is the way. Because it's that unconscious holding on that causes us to tighten the muscles in our face and to clench our jaws and to pinch our shoulders. So we choose to release. We choose to experience ourselves as the deep one. We choose to experience ourselves as love. We engage in this process where we use our will over and over again to choose love. And this is why we follow our breath, is to disengage from the false storylines and to sink down deep into the one who forgives. <laughs> 